Uh, I want to show you the new uh, siphon style liquid culture jars that I made recently that I'm trying out. Uh, I've never made these before, so it's sort of an experimental design. But I tried it out, you know, with water and everything beforehand, and it seems to work. So what I did was drill two holes at the top of a wide mouth jar, uh, and I glued a, uh, I think it's like a 0.1 micron filter uh, using silicone on the inside of one of the holes. And the other hole, I cut a length of uh, silicone fish tank tubing. And you want to use silicone and not the clear vinyl because the clear vinyl will probably melt at temperatures that you need to sterilize at. Uh, the silicone will not. And then you seal it in place with silicone. Right now the end of it has uh, some cling wrap around it, you know, for uh, sterility and cleanliness. Uh, but then what you do is take a needle and uh, inject uh, silicone into the end of the tubing here so that way it has a plug seal on the end that you can stick a needle through and then when you stick the needle through and pull back it's like sucking on a straw and sucks a uh, liquid culture solution up into the straw and down in the jar I've also added a magnetic stirrer uh, to uh, break up the mycelium that's growing inside and uh, get rid of the chunks and spread it around and help it to grow. Uh, the solution I have in there right now is just filtered water with about maybe a quarter to half a tablespoon of clear caro corn syrup and I believe it was eighth of an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, wheat extract auger I believe. Uh, you can see it still has pretty good viscosity or low viscosity didn't thicken it that much, um, but you know it looks like it behaves a little bit different. You can see a little bit of thickness from it when you really swirl it around. Kind of like the difference, you know, between like moonshine and water. So anyway, that's the siphon style liquid culture jars that I'm trying out, and I'll be inoculating some spawn jars here soon with it, so I'll be able to confirm if it actually works or not. I'll be sure to let you know. One last thing before I close, I thought I'd give you a quick gander at the new grow bag and what it has coming out of it. There is the grow bag that I just harvested off of earlier this week and it gave me just shy of three pounds, maybe right about three pounds. And that block down there gave me about a third of a pound. Uh, so, decent haul overall. But this one has a large number of really nice, healthy looking clusters. Sadly, it also has a large number of pens at the top of the bag. So I cut holes and hopefully we allow to salvage a lot of those.